at the age of 14, I really specialized in short track until um, until the winter 2010 Olympics. Uh, I ended up not qualifying for short track or long track, and then I ended up doing the full switch into long track. I struggled a lot, like mentally and physically, when I was in the short track program in Montreal. I I wasn't happy, I developed an eating disorder. It was really hard for me, I think, just being young and being a, in a city that I didn't love. Um, the training program was ridiculously hard and even though I was still junior, they still pushed me so hard. And so I kind of developed a, a hatred for Montreal and over there and I actually had quit, quit the sport completely after the 2010 season. It's made me a better skater, a better person and I, I have a tougher skin now than I did back then. I've always been a very competitive person, whether it be like baking a cake or like anything. Like anyone that knows me well enough knows that I'm like probably the most competitive person they've ever come across in their life. So I, I think to me, like the compete aspect of it and wanting to compete again and wanting to get on that ice and like show people how good I could be, to me that's what made me pursue long track.